the modulators panel. Swarplug now includes a new panel for defining all kinds of modulations. Most controls of Swarplug 4 can be modulated using a large array of modulators. To add a modulation, you must first select the control you want to modulate and then attach it to a modulator. A modulator is a controller, usually within a range from 0 to 127, that a user can increase or decrease. Typical modulators are the MIDI CC, that is control change messages, that can be generated by modulation wheels on the keyboard. But in Swerplug 4, we are also including additional controllers like the velocity at which a key was pressed, its aftertouch, etc. Both in MPE and legacy modes. Once that link between modulator and parameter is established, you must also decide the direction of modulation. You want upwards, downwards or centered. In an upwards modulation, incrementing the modulator will increment the modulated parameter from its minimum up to its currently set value. In a downward modulation, incrementing the modulator will decrement the modulated parameter from its currently set value down to its minimum. In a centered modulation, the modulator will work in both directions. When incrementing from its medium point, it will increment the modulated param from its currently set value up to its maximum. When decrementing it from its medium point, it will decrement the modulated parameter from its current set value to its minimum. In Swarplug 4, you can add a modulation by clicking on the Add Modulation button and then selecting the parameter you want to modulate. This adds a new line in the modulation table. Using a default modulator CC1 and direction upwards. You can change these by clicking on them respectively and selecting a different value. Just note that you can modulate a parameter only once. But you can use a single modulator to modulate multiple parameters. Modulations are global to all instruments and are retained across sessions. Cross velocity. As it is now possible to modulate the note velocity, that is velocity modulation parameter, we have added a checkbox to instruct Swerplug to accordingly switch velocity samples. This allows you to, for example, start a note at a very soft velocity, therefore playing the softer samples and then slowly raise the velocity through the attached controller so that it moves to louder samples. This transition of samples is rendered smoothly by cross-fading across samples. LFO Somehow related, we have also improved the LFO option. The delay knob lets you define a number of seconds before the LFO kicks in. The frequency knob still defines the frequency of the LFO, but it now also has an acceleration knob that lets that frequency increase or decrease in time. Similarly, the level knob defines the level of the oscillation, but an acceleration knob lets that increase or decrease in time. We hope these enhancements will help you achieve even greater control over our virtual instruments.